So right now, everybody knows they're about to play, but as you can see, everybody's pretty calm about it. There is no excitement going on. They're waiting. So before they actually play, they have to be calm surrender. Tricky is not. Look, she took the ball without my permission. She can't touch the ball until the human tells her to touch the ball. She did it again. She doesn't understand what I want yet. So her self-discipline, her self-control, her self-control is almost not existent, but with repetition, she'll get it. This is the state we want. But I want you to see what I'm talking about once I begin to initiate the game. All right, let's go, let's do it. She's too close to me and too excited. There you go. See, now Lucho is telling her to stay calm, only to her, because Lucho is sensing that she is a little too excited. Look, look at the waiting, but look at her, the pacing. So that, that is not ideal, that is not healthy. Look at the intensity. Hey, hey, hey. Shh, shh, shh. When I asked the pack for calm surrender to start the game, Tricky was the only one who remained excited. Hey, hey. Her disrespectful bar tells me she's demanding the ball. If I'm gonna be able to find her a new home, I first need to teach her that overly excited, disrespectful behavior won't get her what she wants. There we go. This is calm surrender. She's really fast. So with this kind of dog, you can't play in a short distance because they have so much energy, they don't get the ball, they can grab someone next to them. Good girl, that's a good girl. That's really good. To drop the ball that fast means she's learning respectful play. See, Sophia got the ball before Tricky, which used to be a problem. I can see that Tricky is starting to learn the concept of respect. Previously, she would attempt to grab the ball out of another dog's mouth, but this time when Sophia got to the ball first, Tricky let her have it without a fight. Her fight instincts to get to the ball has transformed into playful competition. You can see the respect, you can see the waiting. It's about to go down. Tricky is learning that waiting and calm surrender before play will get her what she wants, which is the ball. She isn't exhibiting any overexcitement that could lead to fights, which is a big win for her. How do I know that a dog that I'm rehabilitating with the history of Tricky is ready to begin a new life? Number one, of course, the, the human has to be compatible. Number two, the dog has to be ready. Number three, they both have to be in agreement. But for that, she needs many repetitions of calm surrender. And so what you're seeing right now is her understanding comes surrender. 